is found in Jesus. You know what day it is. Focus Friday. What's good, my people? You know what day it is. Focus Friday. Topic is Jesus knows about loss. These past couple of weeks have been a difficult time for many of my family and friends. My barber lost his closest friend. One of my former teammates recently died. My nephew and niece lost a relative as well. One of my friend's mom passed away. It's been a difficult week. But for the past five weeks, me and my friends have been talking about the person of Jesus. We've been talking about his humanity and what he said about himself. I think many times we forget that Jesus, he was human, and that he experienced the human life on earth, just as we are doing now. And the one thing that he encountered, and that's loss of a loved one. Matthew 14, 13 says, as soon as Jesus heard the news, he left in a boat to a remote area to be alone. So what happened, man? What happened, Brave? Let's backtrack. Matthew 14, verse 3. For Herod had arrested and imprisoned John as a favor to his wife, Herodias, the former wife of Herod's brother, Philip. John had been telling Herod, it is against God's law for you to marry her. Herod wanted to kill John, but he was afraid of a riot because all the people believed John was a prophet. But at a birthday party for Herod, Herodias' daughter, performed a dance that greatly pleased him. So he promised with a vow to give her anything she wanted. At her mother's urging, the girl said, I want the head of John the Baptist on the tray. Then the king regretted what he had said, but because of his vow he had made in front of his guests, he issued the necessary orders. So John was beheaded in the prison and his head was brought on a tray and given to the girl. He took it to her mother. Later. John's disciples came for his body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus what had happened. So Jesus finds out that his first cousin, John the Baptist, was killed. And most of my family members died of natural causes, but John didn't die of a heart attack or cancer. He was beheaded. That would mess my whole mentality up. That's a tragic death. So Jesus goes off and to get some alone time, and that shows the human side of Christ because when you find out that bad news, you want to get away, you want to be alone, this shows the human side of Christ. But the next couple of verses show strength and the selflessness of Jesus. Check this out. But the crowds heard where he was headed and followed on foot from many towns. Jesus saw the huge crowd as he stepped from the boat and he had compassion on them healed their sick. So Jesus goes off and people following him and he had compassion on them and healed them. He could have been like, hey y'all, going through a lot right now. I found out my cousin got his head cut off. How let me this week or next month? Matter of fact, give me two months. I need time to process this. But in spite of what he was going through, he did not put his mission on hold. He kept going about his mission. That's gangster. To still pursue the mission even though you're going through some hard times. This should be every Christmas prayer. Help me to keep moving. Help me to keep pursuing the purpose that you got for my life. Crowds gonna come, they coming. And they might even be present with us. We gotta keep pushing and we gotta keep moving. Trials, they will tempt you to give up. Trials will test your faith. When I was in college my junior year. I went through a lot of loss. It was death after death after death. During that time, I was a full-time athlete in college, a full-time student. I was president over a ministry on campus. And I was also a dorm chaplain. And during this time, I didn't feel like going to class. I didn't feel like doing nothing. I didn't feel like you know, speaking about the word of God. I was just weary and down. And I had people coming to me with their problems, not knowing that I'm going through some stuff. But the spirit kept telling me and motivating me, hey, I know you're going through a lot right now, but you must still fulfill the mission of God in your life. You still must keep moving. You still must follow Jesus and follow his lead. Like the spirit gangster, bro. The spirit gangster. My people, that's it. We got to keep moving and we got to keep pushing in spite of. My cousin, he's a pastor, and he spoke at my auntie funeral years ago, and he said that she was a loan to us. You got to give loans back. It's funny how we try to take what's God's and keep it. But we belong to God, and one day he's going to take us too. I know where my loved ones are. And Jesus knew what John the Baptist was as well. And I guarantee you, 
my grandmother and my auntie and my cousins that I've lost and my closest friends, they wouldn't tell me, hey man, I know I'm in heaven now, stop what you're doing and just, and just put your mission on hold. They would tell me to keep pushing, keep moving, keep grinding. You might not understand what's going on right now, but I serve a Jesus that will give you peace without understanding. It's Focus Friday. Hang in there. Keep pushing. Thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, and share this video with somebody that might be encouraged. Bye.